Okay, fam, we've got a lot to talk about. This photo. I don't give a shit about your questions and your symbol and your books. Hey, whoa, whoa! Ruin it! Come on! Wait a minute. What about the Chromonocle? What's a Chromonocle? Chromonocle. What's it? It's the Chromonocle. Oh, yeah, sure. That's what I said. The Chromonocle. What's it? You know, the one that finds the map in the Cavern of the Lonely Dragon? Ethan says it better than I can. It's like the Cavern of the Lonely Dragon. When the Chromonocle was lost in the rainbow sky, she found a cavern where the Lonely Dragon lived. And it was full of stuff that nobody wanted. But for the Lonely Dragon, all the stuff is treasure. In one of the big piles of stuff, there was the map of the rainbow sky. The Lonely Dragon gave it to the Chromonocle and then she wasn't lost anymore. So maybe we'll find a map in here. So let me guess. You're going to be the guy who figures it all out. You're goddamn right I am. But first, I'd like to give a shout out to Reed Price, the actor that plays Tom. He shared a meme that I created on his Instagram and tagged me in it. Real dope stuff. You probably heard of Tom of Finland, but this is Tom of Frumlin, potato vodka. Mm. Holy fuck, what is this shit? Just consider it your poor man's potato vodka. So the storage room at the diner is the Cavern of the Lonely Dragon. And Kenny's mom is the lonely dragon who stores treasures that have been left behind. She even held on to Sarah's treasures and gave them back to her at the diner. Kenny's mom giving Jade the book makes Jade the Chromonocle, and that makes the book a map. What? In a recent video released by MGM, Jeff Pinkner says this. The tunnels underneath the town may help us understand what that symbol is that Jade has been searching for. Remember when Jade first walked into the diner and asked if there were some clues there for him? <laughs> is this where I find my next clue? Thinking maybe there's a clue in each one of the buildings? Hmm? Am I getting warmer? So I mean, usually, you know, you have some type of prompt that lets you know which direction to go, but this is, uh, this is just some next level shit. I supposed to get anything from you? What? I don't know, like a, a clue or some kind of cryptic direction, you know what? In the coming episodes, I believe that Jay will realize the symbols as a map and that they may have a dual purpose and also serve as a clock. I'm gonna, you know, check out the town, turn over a few stones. <laughs> I can tell thee, this must have cost a fortune. Side note, I wonder if Jade was an orphan and was adopted by a wealthy family. That was just a thought that came into my head while making this video. Now, when talking about a map to find a way out, it gets me to thinking about how our residents actually got there in the first place. We know a few things about how the travelers get there, but hold that thought. How do the chickens, goats, and the other livestock get there? Are they just wandering at home on the farm and they just randomly end up in Frumtown? One thing to point out is that our travelers don't arrive at the same tree. Look at the tree that the Matthews family pulls up on. And look at the tree that stopped the Stevens family. The residents are all from different places and the livestock may be as well. I'll leave you with a few questions to think about while we wait on the next episode. When Boyd was stuck in the well, Martin said, hurry up before he comes back. You have to hurry. He'll be back soon. Okay. Who is he? Could it be the guy with the creepy things in his eyes looking through the keyhole in Victor's drawing? Also, how in the world did a bracelet that Jim lost over 17 years ago end up here? Will it serve as an amulet of protection later on in the show? Was it brought there by an ancestor? Is there something communicating or interacting with the residents before they come to Frumtown? Kenny's father was hearing voices his last night at the clinic. Could those be the same voices that led him to leave the house only to have Kenny and his mom follow and end up in Frumtown? Father Kotri heard a voice that told him to drive, and he ended up there as well. Boyd's interaction would be the Brian Kelly thing. Kelly was left alive on that tree for Boyd to make that connection. 
So that concludes our video for today. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.